In this video, we are going to show you how to repressurize the new models of Baxi boilers. These are different to previous versions because they have a digital pressure gauge. If you have a round pressure gauge on the front of your boiler, please watch our other video. From time to time, your Baxi boiler may need repressurizing. This is quite normal and is a simple job that you can do yourself. This boiler is showing the error code H0207. If the error code A0206 shows, then you need to carry out exactly the same process. Either way, it's very simple to repressurize your boiler. If you look underneath your boiler, you will see a small green lever. Pull it down for a few seconds and you will hear water going into the boiler. Once there's pressure in the boiler, you will see on the screen that it goes into reset mode. You'll see the screen flashing OK and the amount of pressure in the boiler. In this case, it's OK 0.9. This line of flashing lights will slowly disappear and you may sometimes see de-air, which means de-aeration. This process is to protect the boiler and the system and can take from five to seven minutes. You can see that the lines have nearly come to an end. This shows that the boiler has gone through the reset process and it will automatically come on again, so you don't need to press the reset button. The screen on the boiler will now show OK and the pressure, in this case 1.1. Nearly there. Just use the green lever again to top up the boiler until it reads 1.5. Don't be tempted to top it up any further than 1.5. You could damage the boiler and your heating system by overpressurizing. And that's it. Your boiler is all set again. As I said at the start, most boilers need the pressure topping up occasionally. However, if you need to keep topping up the pressure, it could indicate another problem, so it may be time to call out your heating engineer or phone Baxi customer support.